Hey people, what be up? It's cold today. It actually snowed a little while ago, but it didn't stick. But, well, I wanted to wear shorts. I was able to wear shorts over the weekend, which was really nice. So, anyway, um, thank you for the comments on um, my kitty. This one right here. She's doing better. You doing better? Num 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 num. Yeah, she's doing better. That medicine she's on just makes a thousand percent difference in her health. She eats, she's not throwing up. She feels a lot better. She's just a doll. So, yeah. Um. What else is going on? Oh yeah. Hey John, there's my 3D TV. <laughs> and the glasses. Where's the glasses? They're funny. You have to like turn them on or something. There's like a button somewhere. There. Oh. There. But they need to be charged. So, this is one of the last boxes we have. And it's all close. I think most of that's going to go to donation. We have a box over there for donation too. But this is our dining room. Kind of neat, huh? Basket of dog toys. This is like our entryway. But, oh, well we have some other stuff we have to move around, but this is kind of how it's going to look. This is an antique secretary that's been in my family for years and years and years that I just got so and I've got Disney figurines all these are my sisters you can tell we're Disney fanatics <laughs> so So I was thinking about doing a rant because it's just something that not a whole lot really gets under my skin. I don't even know why I'm looking out here. Not a whole lot really gets under my skin, but this subject particularly does. Living here is awesome. I mean, living here, you get to every, just about every exotic place that you want to visit is within short train trip or plane trip. Um, the people are really nice. Everybody's really cool. They do have their set ways. And one of the things they have is recycling, uh, not recommendations, they insist on it. So plastic, paper, metal, and glass. And the glass has to be separated between brown, green, and clear. Now, I'm a recycler, but I'm not like fanatical about it, but I've had to be. Um, paper is picked up once a month once a month, guys, which means everything that's in, and the bin's not, I mean, it's big, but it's not like big, big. It's not like a giant dumpster. It's one of those rolly cans. So once a month, we have a lot of paper. Americans have a lot of trash. Um, that's our schedule, and it's actually picking up the seventh, so thank God. This talks about what you have to do. So glass, separate by color, bottles and jars, blah, 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 none of this. Dude, they are fanatical, you have to do this. This bin right here, it's, there's some places in town that you can dump, like public places, but we found out that they're only open certain hours and they're closed on Sundays. So cans, coffee cans, food cans, blah, 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 blah. Um, no beverage cartons, styrofoam, blah, blah, blah. Hang 
on. Dogs want to come in. Um, paper and cardboard. This is the one that they actually come pick up at the house too. Must be clean. Yes, they'll take all this stuff. No carbon paper, no dirty, no dirty paper, no wax coat of paper, no diapers, duh, okay. Plastic material, where's plastic? Yellow bag containers. This is the one we always have a problem with because everything we have, we use has plastic. So, only for packing material, plastic coated bottles, blah, 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 blah. So, the plastic one kills us because we don't think that they actually come and pick that up. So we have bags of plastic that I have separated out. It's clean and it's sitting in the garage and we've actually been having to take it on post and dump it in their, um, their plastic container on post because we're never around when like the other ones open. But we have so much. It's almost embarrassing to go there. Refuse. Refuse. Black bins. Bi-weekly. Now, I haven't really noticed that. Now, black bins I always thought was bio, like poop and cat litter and all that food. This one says, yeah, animal feces, candles, ceramics, cigarette buds, blah, 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 pet litter, torn clothing, use clean. <laughs> really? No recyclable material or any hazardous waste. So this is the nasty can. I think it picks up. I don't, I don't know. I'm still looking on that one. Um, it came and picked up the day the movers were here, and I saw that truck. And man, I ran out there with that can. I was not going to let him leave without it. <laughs> Red Cross bin, which is really weird, but there's a giant one, like, not even a block away. Baby clothes, jacket shirts, blah, 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 blah. No dirty clothes. No torn clothes. Bulky stuff, like, we haven't had to do that. Yard waste, we haven't had to do that. Hazardous waste. The worst I've had is batteries. But seriously, guys, I've gotten to the point where I have a ritual type thing, and it's it's a pain. So plastic, paper, cans. This one right here is just like a can that I'll just say, fuck it, you know, it's I, where I don't know where it goes, and we'll just dump that in like the refuse. But seriously, I mean, I saw something on Penn and Teller bullshit where they were debunking the whole, okay, hold on. My dog's going crazy. Where they were debunking the whole um, recycling thing. So, get in here. So, I'm sketchy about doing it anyway because from what they showed, it all ends up in the same place anyway. But, dude, they are religious about it here. It's it's not even funny. I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's so frustrating. It's frustrating. So, um, this weekend, um, the guys are going to the States for two weeks and leaving me with a car. So, and taking the camera with them, which sucks. But I'm going to use that opportunity to take the car and get rid of all of this stinking trash. Not stinking, but trash that's sitting in bags in the garage. I will show you. Not like you want to see my trash, but you'll kind of see like what, I don't know. You seriously have to take like a college course to figure some stuff out around here. So I've got, that's the refuse. That's the trash that's like, I don't know where the fuck it belongs. This is the paper one, the blue with the bags on the side. So yeah, we use a lot of stinking paper. Um, the plastic is in this bag, these bags right here. Plastic, plastic, plastic. You know, it's like, ah! I mean, why can't they come to the house and pick all this up? This is the big black bio can, which, yeah, it's gross, because it's got dog stuff and litter and blah, blah, blah. And this is metal, like cans and stuff. Um, it's not too bad. The pet food cans can start stinking. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to kind of rant about that because it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like, I'm constantly like having to separate trash. Like anything gets thrown away, I have to go through it and go, oh my God, this is plastic, this is metal, you know? And I mean, I'll wash the cans out. I'm not gonna like peel the labels off, but I will, I will clean them. 
you know, but yeah, it's, it's turned into kind of a fiasco. So coming downstairs, it's getting a little, yeah, it's kind of messy. Over there is where the Xbox is going to go. Um, the bar, it's still kind of messy. Actually, I lied. These boxes are the are left, but a lot of them are VHS tapes because Homie got it in his head that he's going to um, copy a bunch of them while we're over here. Yeah. So, <laughs> in our movie room, da, 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 this is getting better. Movie room is set up. I love how all the boxes and everything still need to be unpacked, but our movies are alphabetized. You know, because that's a priority. <laughs> Here's all our autographs that he collects. Well, that we collect. So, Joe, you like a lot of horror movies. We've got some horror movie stuff in here. <laughs> Dude. This is all signed. Um, this one's signed, that one's not signed, but it's cool. <sighs> so, oh, Blu-rays, oh, DVDs, I don't know if you guys know who Forrest Ackerman is, but he was a kind of like a horror dude from, he knew like all the original horror people like Bela Lugosi and everything. Well. He passed away a couple years ago, and they sold off his estate, and that's actually a mask from his collection. So I bought it for as a Christmas present, and it's got a certificate of authenticity in it. So, it's kind of cool. In there, you actually have booby tassels, the movie that comes with a shot glass and booby tassels. All right, I guess I'm done ranting. Um, I'm going to miss my camera next for the next couple weeks. Especially since I'm going to be out and about in a car and probably having, getting into some mischief. And it'd be kind of fun to, to film it. But I think they're going to try to go to a um, horror movie convention, wherever they're going, and meet a couple people. So I figured, okay, you can use the camera. <laughs> I'm not going to be a bitch about it. <laughs> but I'm still going to miss the camera. These are getting kind of fun. I mean, I can't stand hearing my voice when I'm like talking and stuff, but. Oh, and going shopping the other day. Look what I bought. Aren't you cute? Look what he's doing. It's a, it's a lawn ornament thingy. All right, um, I guess that's it. Hey little army bear. It is so cold outside. I totally want to open the window, but. It gets cold. I have a candle burning. It is a cherry lemonade. Oh, it smells so good. It's nice. Um, oh, who here used to watch Dallas? I found some stuff in my mother's stash. I don't know, this might be a collector's item, who knows. Yes. So whoever has seen Dallas, which is probably everybody, this is a, go on, go, my dog's deaf. This is a, uh, I guess you could, you could buy it over the um, mail years ago. Can I pull it out that way? Anyways, it's a, it's a bottle of oil. And apparently it's supposed to be from J.R. Ewing's whatever. Um, my mom was a big fan, so I found this. It just cracked me the hell up. I don't know if, it, if anybody else in the world has one of these, but it's an old bottle of oil. I thought it was kind of weird. It contains oil. So I'm going to keep that just for fun. It came from CBS, 1981. All right, I guess I'm done rambling. I'll try and do another video tomorrow if I can. 
Um, we have to take one of our dogs to a German vet because she broke her tooth and uh, she's in a lot of pain, which sucks. So I think we're going to probably have to have it pulled. <sighs> so maybe I'll try and film her at the vet. That might be kind of cool. I heard this vet's really awesome. Actually, I heard she has a website, so I should go check it out. But all right, guys, have a good week and um, I'll be seeing you. Bye.